Snap. We're back within the Marvel Snap video as today we got a lore friendly deck, apparently. It wasn't really my intention at first, but a pretty nice, pleasant surprise to learn of. Today we're playing Cloak and Dagger. And we are going to be actually, I played this all day on yesterday's stream and I'm going to be playing it on stream today as well because we have the hot location being the Bifrost, which really benefits this deck. So let's talk about Omaiwamu Shindaru. And uh, if you guys see like people talking on the chat, like I'm about to start streaming and sometimes people just like start talking in the chat, so don't mind that. But yeah, this is a deck built around Cloak and dagger dagger was the main inspiration for this deck as i saw this skin in the store i free to played it and i immediately wanted to build a deck around her two energy one power card that says when this moves to a location plus two power for each card your opponent has there very strong effect that can be built up on again and again and if you if you design the deck with with proper synergy she can really skyrocket up in power and that's what we try to do there's several things about this deck that may seem really weird at first right first of all our curve we don't really have any four drops five drops or six drops on this build so our curve seems extremely low and that leads you to the impression that yeah, we basically don't really have enough power output to out muscle other decks but our true strength lies within our key move cards in dagger and vulture and we have a deck designed around center uh, movement synergy combined with beast the reason why i took this approach and not your run-of-the-mill standard uh movement deck is because i feel like those decks have been tested uh more than enough at this point and i think there's a lot of flaws within the standard movement archetype uh heimdall is extremely telegraphed as a play and allows you to uh position your units in a specific way what i don't like about heimdall is that it moves everything right and i prefer having uh cards that move specific targets and not just my entire board because that just really makes my end game like i said very predictable and uh it doesn't really give me much uh leeway and 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 essentially uh it really limits my decision making because of all that so i'm not a huge fan of, of standard movement decks like i've said numerous times in the past i like movement decks that disrupt my opponent and move their stuff you know with arrow and magneto and, and the likes and i really like this approach as well because we do have really high power really strong synergy with our movement cards but we also have alternative alternative routes to victory the the key to this deck i'd say is goose goose has an ongoing effect that nobody can play cards that cost four or five or six at this location which means that we can play him ideally on the right location so that we shut down that uh, location and don't let our opponent play some big stuff there as we can move into the left to generate our own power to match our opponents and ideally surpass it uh, on the center and the left location so goose is generally played on the right though it depends on the matchup and the locations being distributed and all that good stuff uh, but the idea is to lock that down and then we play iron fist and dagger to the right of iron fist iron fist will move the next card you play one location to the left after it reveals so we play iron fist on the left we play dagger to the right of it so she moves into the iron fist location so that we can then recall both of them with beast and make them cost one less while preserving the buffs that we have generated into either at dagger or the likes of vulture as well there's a lot of very nuanced uh in the sequencing with this deck that's just a little bit weird at first because for example if you have vulture in hand and you don't have dagger you may be inclined to play iron fist on turn two instead of angela so you can vulture on turn three and then you can angela into beast on turn four you have to be really mindful of your curve and how best to get beast going on turn four ideally so we can replay our movement card on turn five alongside potentially cloak turn five cloak is really underrated because by that stage of the game your opponent will probably have clogged up one location and you can play cloak into that location and get your vulture and dagger to move into it again which is amazing we also have wolfsbane a really essential component of this deck because she does represent an alternate win condition as she has tremendous synergy with beast i remember phasing i, I believe it was azakov and he was playing beast with wolfsbane and i was just shocked by just the power output of that combo so i incorporated it onto this deck <laughs> good background oh my god i gotta, I gotta take that emote out 
<laughs> my chat is so degenerate but yeah like it, it's a really really strong uh synergy uh that allows us to have alternate game plans as we have dr strange to move our big units again polaris and maximus represent really high power three mana plays maximus is very very strong with goose and just represents the most straight up power on a three drop without any prior requirement which is really essential especially when you want to play him last turn uh, as a lot of times we do end games in uh three drop plus three drop or uh with some cards returned by beast we can go you know dagger of iron fist and dagger into into three drop and and other combos as well if we were called a two drop we can chain that on, onto that as well so the the, 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 that, the curve even though it seems very, like it's very low it actually flows really neatly and uh, it is deceptively powerful as polaris allows us to disrupt our opponent and also move certain uh cards into a more stacked location so we can potentially uh stack or, or empower our dagger plays and scarlet witch to uh swap some locations here and there though god damn this card can this card backfired on me a lot yesterday i i just kept pulling all these terrible locations like bar with no name a random limbo that extended the game one turn which was absolutely brutal uh and a long etc of just misfortunes but she's two mana and i have to play her over rhino in this deck because i need a two drop in her slot and uh so yeah we just we just gotta we gotta pick our poison i guess in that regard but that is the deck list right there put a lot of thought into it and uh it is arguably the hardest deck to pilot that i personally played so i'm 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 definitely you know it's not for everybody it's definitely for more experienced players i mean and, and when you can actually craft this when you reach pull three right uh polaris and maximus are the uh, the more expendable pull three cards uh wolfsbane dagger beast and um you know dr strange vulture all those are very essential when it comes to pull three cards i think dagger and beast and goose these three are pretty irreplaceable unfortunately uh so you know you can't really play the deck until you have the three of them but uh, hopefully eventually you get the cards and you can try it out yourselves and hope you enjoy the games man today's gameplay is really sick and i'm just really excited to share so i'm gonna stop rambling thank you guys for watching thank you for regular marvel snap uploads hope you enjoy the matches i'll see you guys tomorrow all right we got all the movement here hella is just one of those decks right like if, if they if they curve out properly which happens less often than not it's kind of unbeatable in that sense i feel pretty good about this one we have combos we don't need to rush them we do not need to rush them Now they're committing to this lane. We can uh, we can get to work a little bit, or we can even um, we do this, we do this, and we do this. We Polaris, then I crawl her in. We Iron Fist, and now this dagger, ooh, this dagger is spicy. And it's only the beginning. Because we beast here. And we cloak on the right. cards here I mean this dagger takes the center no problem goose is denied there but goose here prevents them from playing anything big I think we just want to Polaris because if we Polaris here we just lock down that location and goose can be played here and I can I can keep these cards for the last turn. They've committed quite a bit to that side. We can play.
play Doctor Strange here, which moves these two over here, and that, that just automatically solidifies our position there. We do this, we do this, and we do this. And this just sets up for a beautiful endgame. That will completely blow them back. No space, you'll see. You'll see. There's exactly, exactly the amount of space that we need. The order is wrong? Okay, Alexpla. Let's see. Let's see if you're right. Let's see if you're right, Alexpla. Seems right to me. Cloak and dagger. Okay, well then it's it's a thematic deck. On purpose. Yeah. What's the deck for today? It's a dagger deck. It's a dagger goose deck. And it is fun as Oh god fucking damn it! This location, bro! Enough! Enough of this shit! It just it fucks up my entire combo! Oh my god, bro. Ugh. I hate this shit. Okay, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go. I mean, we still have the the hope of top decking beast. So we're gonna iron fist into dagger on the center. Beautiful. The value. Give me the stats. Give me all of the stats. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Oh. 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 Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. This sparkles with me. Hmm. Where do we play as Angela? Let's think about this. Because we we can actually set up cloak and oh my god oh my oh my god oh my fucking god okay we gotta go Angela on the left actually. Oh yeah, this is our this is our game. This game is done. This game is done. We don't have initiative, though. Maybe for like a random Cosmo in the center. <laughs> Please, no. Arigato okay. Mm, si, si, si. Comprende. Comprende. <laughs> Gracias, señor. Yeah, that's a snap. Oh boy! Oh, this deck is fire. I don't care what anybody says. This deck is fire. Okay, we're going. We're gonna set up the vulture. Iron fist here. Dagger here. Going back to the center. Cloak here. <laughs> In the colon. And vulture over here. Yeah, that sparkles with me. You are Iron Man? Iron Man? Okay, cool story, bro. Get daggered. Dagger center. Cloak. Oh my god. Cloak and dagger, boys. Cloak and dagger! I, I'm not gonna look at chat because I just had somebody tell me to move her left first. People who still do not understand how cloak works. So I'm 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 minimizing chat right now. Sorry. Uh, it, I can't I can't be distracted here because I can, I can fuck this up really easily. Okay, so we go here, you know, a huge boost, and then I mean we we take the center. We just gotta make sure that we win this this lane because we can't really take the center without the extra support. So what we do here is we actually don't move you. We play you here. 
and then we Doctor Strange in the middle, right? Probably excessive. Oh, is this correct? Oof. Yeah, definitely excessive over there. Open the chat, it's all the fridges. You guys can't behave yourselves. Get wrecked, boy. How about that 29 dagger? Together. It will not have moved the leader. No, no, no. Okay, we got the iron fist dagger combo, all right? We got the beast. Feeling pretty confident here. Let's go goose on the right. I really like goose on the right. Like I said numerous times, it's it's the location where reaching with dagger is pretty uh, much impossible with Iron Fist. Even though we can Doctor Strange into it, uh, it's generally a good idea. Uh, I hate that Grand Central. We may have to get rid of it. I kind of want to... I kind of want to, um, you know, get rid of that. Probably going to be the target for uh, for Scarlet Witch. The question is, what do we do this turn? Because we could set up Vulture into Doctor Strange. And then I think I like the idea of turn five um, this into Beast. But if we do that, if we Vulture and we Doctor Strange on that, and then we do that on the last turn... We cannot Scarlet Witch. Is there a way? Is there a way we can do this? We Vulture and then we this and then we have no, no, no. It's, there's no way to do that. I just don't like this Grand Central at all. So I'm gonna be doing this. I'm gonna play you here. Quite a bit of power there. Good that they spawn there. We do that and then we beast her back. They can play Devil Dino there, but they can Carnage, obviously, which it seems like they're going to do. We have Cloak. Okay, so what's the play here? Obviously, winning winning Baxter building can be pretty important, but it can also be very hard unless we uh, we set up a vulture into into Doctor Strange, and I like that quite a bit. So the play this turn. Okay, check the shit out, guys. We're gonna go. We are gonna go cloak into vulture. Devil Dinosaur middle, they probably, they can Devil Dinosaur on the left as well. And we can beat that. We can beat that. So we do this here. We move you here. And then we Maximus. No. Move you here. For the love of God, Miguel, come on. Here, here, and here.
my god, no! No! Fuck! <sighs> the angels are team. I don't even want to iron fist. I don't even want to iron fist because now, now my odds of drawing beast, which is what I really wanted, are really fucked. And I kind of like rely on this as a late game play, which is kind of depressing. So I'm just going to Scarlet Witch the right and hope for the best. Maybe I should just hit Subterranea out of spite. Mojo world on the right. Actually terrible. Because I can't move to the right! Oh my god. Apologize to chat and curse. No, no, like, no, no, no joke. Like, I legit. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for calling you Pepega. I really am. I, I really, I really am sorry. Please, no more rocks. Please, don't just, we have, we've had, we've had enough rocks today. Please. I'm sorry. I, I was wrong. I'm, I'm the Papega. Alright. Bro, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. I have no idea what to do. I'm just gonna play this. I it's, It doesn't even make sense to play it there, because I want to move... I, I don't know. Rocks. Rocks! Rocks. I mean, they're not playing into Mojo World, so maybe... Maybe, maybe there's hope. Guys, five mana, three power Polaris! We got this. We're gonna move the mojo. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna move the mojo. Actually, it's still better to play it here, yeah. We're gonna move the mojo. We're not gonna- if- if we hit Colossus, nothing will happen. But Polaris has been through enough, you know? Like, she got nerfed. People- people just kept whining about her on Reddit. But why does she have three power and moved by Angela, you know? And, uh, the devs listened, right? So now... Now she's gonna move Mojo! Hey! Yeah! And. And we're still fucked. Rocks! This is a. Okay, there is a universe in which we win. Because if they wanna play Spectrum. If they want to play Spectrum, then they actually cannot win Mojo World. Like, they have to give up on Mojo World, unless they have double play into it. So they're going to go left. They're going to go left. They're going to destroy that area. And we're going to win, baby! We're going to win! Unstoppable! Get daggered, boy! Mmm! God! The rocks! It was all about the rocks, baby. <laughs> Apologizing to chat works. I take it all back. I'm not gonna give in to the missions. I wanna play dagger. I wanna improve with dagger. Fuck the missions. I, I didn't wanna complete them anyways. Negative zone. Mm -mm. Ooh. We do this, and then on turn two, mm, 
I can figure things out. Yeah. Gotta get that dagger in there. And you know what's happening now, ladies and gentlemen. God, this deck is just so cool. This deck is just so cool. Very, very cool. All right, we're gonna go, what are we gonna do? How do I reach these kids? Snapping at me. Bro, you have no idea, no idea. What you're even doing? Oh my, oh my god. Okay, we're gonna go. We have to go beast here. No, there's no point in, in Angela beast. That's just that's just loss of tempo. We beast on the right. Where do we place Angela though? In the negative zone or in the Shuri's lab? Negative zone is really rough. We kind of have to go Shuri's lab. This may bite us in the ass though. We'll see. They took our Maximus. We bounce. We play you here. We play you here. No. No. I feel like they are, they may be sniping us. Is this correct? Um, and it just made deck, deck building significantly more dull. Medusa, okay. We could work with that. Good reason to commit, man. How did you come to this deck? Drugs. <laughs> no. I just I, I I like to deck build at night and uh, yeah I actually spent just so you guys understand like I I spent until 4:30 in the morning optimizing this deck like I, I actually put a lot of effort I'm not saying my decks are like insane but I I actually do put a lot of effort into them um, and this is a concept like I I just I it all started because I saw this sick dagger variant in the shop I free to played it right as usual. And I was like, I gotta make this card work. And but I didn't want to do just another Heimdall deck, you know, because we, that's already been tested, right? So I I thought, okay. And then I just I just started looking at the entire collection, and then I and then I looked at Beast, and I'm this. like, okay, there's maybe some potential here. And then just the deck just kind of like little by little came to be. Um, we're gonna goose on the right. Yeah. Are we gonna Iron Fist here? No, we're not. Not yet. Kabo with the prime. Is this deck work without beast? No, it needs beast. Beast, goose. Beast and goose are very essential. Alongside dagger and and like the cards that are more like like actually the cards that can be replaced more are the likes of Maximus, right? Maximus can be replaced for something else. Um, what else? Maximus, Scarlet Witch can be replaced as well. Uh, Polaris can be can be can definitely be replaced too. 
But um, Wolfsbane, Beast, Iron Fist, Doctor Strange, Angela, Goose, Cloak, pretty essential. Vulture. Okay, give me a moment. I'm running. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh. Ooh, 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 ooh! Ooh. Oh my god. We don't have initiative, so we don't have to worry about a goblin in the middle. And they got goose. They got goose as well? Just their own goose. Wind aid my hand. Look at this shit. Look at this. Look at this amazing. Oh my. Oh my god. This Medusa. The buff will be retained, by the way. This Wolfsbane on that bike! Yeah, Elysium, Elysium makes this deck just turbo. Oh my, oh my god, guys. Oh my god. It is Cerebra. It is indeed Cerebra. And that's fine. That is fine. We go Medusa in the middle, even if they have all the all this power. We don't have any movement though, unfortunately, but we have Iron Fist. We can Iron Fist something huge into here if we need to. I can just play Cloak though. So everything can move to the center. Deny, deny, deny their value there. And I mean, I can play all these cards next turn. Um, what about Polaris though? I would like to play Polaris now. On the left. Okay, Cerebra. Cerebra is happening. Let's let us let us let us beat Cerebro Mystique. Okay, so that means the center is very likely taken. But Cerebro Mystique gets has 18 points here. 18 points here. And um, 12 here. Yep, easy. Easy win. Check this beauty out. No, low-key, Medusa was pretty good. Like, Medusa was legit this game. We lost right-sided. They actually had Mystique, huh? No, 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 because, um, because, uh, Ikado, is that you? Uh, no, because if they had Cerebro into Mystique, then they couldn't afford Korg. The only reason they were able to afford Korg is because they only went Cerebro. They went 3-2-1 instead of 3-3. Like, uh, this, this line of play was pretty much unbeatable. Oh, Elysium. Oh! Doesn't matter. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. I actually, I actually did not account for that, yeah. <laughs> Shit. I thought I had it all figured out, but no, no, that's true, that's true, that's true. They could chain. They could chain. Flawless! Flawless execution! Without Dagger, you, you lose a tremendous amount of power because, I mean, the, the deck is built around here. Like, you can't replace the card that the deck is built around. Like, the thing is, they were also really paranoid about losing right, the right location because I, I, could, I could just rebuild that. I had a huge Vulture. So, we had him in a really, really uh, fucked up position. Goose on the right always on the right because uh you know turn six is closes 
So this is like the most right goose I've ever seen. They go Mojo Center. This could be another Destroyer deck. Okay. If there's a place for Fist Tower to be in, it's on the right. Oh my god. <laughs> this full Aris from the heavens. Hi, Mojo. Bye, Mojo. <laughs> Captain America, what happened to your friend? What a tragedy. How do we get into this location, though? I think we play you for now. Over here. I mean, what if we top deck Iron Fist, though? But I don't know, it's fine. We do this. Yeah, this is beautiful. Because now we cloak middle, guys. Now we cloak middle, and we can go Vulture to the left and to the center. Some five heads in the chat, please. Cloak and Wolfsbane. Boom, boom. Fucking beautiful, man. What a beautiful deck. What a gorgeous deck. It's okay. It's okay. Target locked. Can't come back though, Vulture. Okay, so that's eight points there. Eight points. Did they play something on the right? Okay, so eight points here gets us up to 12. So that and Goose. That and Goose over here. Because if they play Spectrum on the right, then they lose five points. Like, they essentially lose one point. So this always wins here. The question is, can we beat Destroyer on this side? With these two? The answer is yes. Oh, and they, they, they can't play Spectrum. Yeah, they, they can only play on this lane, but they can't. Yeah, they can. They can't play anything. Big. This is a super easy win. Super easy win. Super easy win. They can't Shang Chi. They can only play small stuff here. They have five cards in hand. You're fucked. Eight, ten, fourteen goes over. There. What am I missing here? Easiest one of my life. Yeah, yeah. Go home. Go home. Bro, I've been playing this for like for almost six hours and um, I, I don't want to stop. You know, you know what the biggest issue that I'm, I'm struggling with 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 Marvel Snap on YouTube is? In Legend of Terra, I was okay with playing a deck and then just building another one, but I want I don't want to stop playing this deck. I feel like I'm I'm starting to like actually learn, you know, like I'm I'm getting better. I'm still improving with it, you know? Like I want to keep playing this shit. And, and the problem is if you want to make like if I want to make content the way I did with Runeterra like I have to like switch it up a lot and I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna uh hmm. I'm gonna go here okay they go Angela in the middle because they're cowards oh no I need to move this dagger first so I can cloak on turn five. They're not playing anything to the Angela lane. What are they doing? Okay, nice, nice doom bot. All right, now we're talking. Ooh. This middle lane is ours. God, this deck is fire. This deck is fire. 
All right. You guys ready for the bamboozle? Y'all ready? Mom spaghetti? I'm not even gonna overthink it. This game's done. Nice leader. Nice leader, bruh. Scarlet Witch, I swear to God. There we go. Clapped. Can you imagine if she spawned Limbo again? I, I would be so done. Oh, only new locations. So she can river. Okay, okay, okay. I, that's actually important to know. Nutty! Goose! 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 Guys, guys, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Goose, we're gonna draw Goose. We're gonna draw Goose, it's fine. We're gonna draw Goose, I swear. Goose to me! Shit. Um. Yeah. Okay. Why make the left? You mean the right? Why make the right weaker? Um, because I have Goose there, and I'm pretty certain they can't beat my... They cannot beat my, uh, my thing. I'm gonna Goose on the right first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually make him think that this Gamma Lab is gonna pop off, and I'm gonna make them overcommit to it, and then we're gonna Scarlet Witch it. So we're gonna make use of this turn. Feel pretty good about... Oh, okay. Was annoying, but Quinjet's really neat. <laughs> okay. No. Kind of clogging up that lane. We may actually benefit from this last turn. <laughs> they thought we were done. Oh, they complained to it again. Oh, wait. <laughs> I complained to it again. Okay, so they can take the center, but they can't take that. So we move you here, we move you here. And then as they play Apocalypse over there, we play you into you.
One more, babe. One more. Let's get to that 104. One more. Oh, with the Bifrost. Oh. <laughs> mm. Oh, I was I was roping. <laughs> that happens to me a lot, dude. All right, now we go Iron Fist. Woo, bro. Okay, okay, okay. That's a pretty cool collector. Holy shit. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of the dream dimension. This card is really I mean this is scary because what if we get a miniaturized lab? Oh my god, if we get a miniaturized lab, I'm gonna be so mad. <sighs> but I really wanna get rid of it. Oh my god. Scarlet Witch, please. Okay. That that's actually perfect. <laughs> exactly what I planned. We're going Angela into Wolfsbane. We have initiative, so this won't be countered. We uh, Because we, we played Cloak on the left, we get to move the Vulture here, and then we have a nice Doctor Strange. Um, if they play a Shang-Chi here, I'm going to die of cringe. But if not, we should have initiative next round as well. And a free six drop. And I don't know about you, but that sparkles with me. Nice Gamora. All systems go. Nice Gamora. Uh, uh. And now we're spreading out across all three lanes with immeasurable power. Is that Shang Chi? That's like Shang Chi is gonna be so funny. <laughs> nice leader, bruh. Nice leader. Let's get some twerks in the chat, please. It is imperative. Some twerks in the chat, please. We die from cringe, but as we beat him, we live from based. Live from based! <laughs> 